Hi and welcome to Creator Fundamentals. My name is Dan Courier and I'm here to show you how to build a foundation for YouTube success. Now I've given a lot of thought about what topic I should cover first for all the small YouTubers out there. And the one thing that I see over and over again that small YouTubers neglect is keyword research. So we're going to take a look at that right now. Let's get started. Hey, don't forget to click that subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing. And you definitely don't want to forget to give this video a thumbs up. Now there are a number of tools out there that provide you the opportunity and the ability to perform keyword research. The tool that I use on a daily basis is TubeBuddy. So we're going to take a look at TubeBuddy and I'm going to show you how I use it in order to find high uh, score keyword phrases that allow my content to be found more easily. All right, so TubeBuddy actually has a Chrome add-on. So we're going to open the Chrome browser and then we're going to go up into the menu and find more tools and then extensions. And then we are going to scroll to the bottom and click on get more extensions. Here we're actually going to search for TubeBuddy and you'll see it brings up the TubeBuddy extension. I already have it installed, um, so it tells me that it has been added, but uh, this is where you're going to click to actually add it. Now, when you go back to your actual channel, you'll see in the upper right-hand corner that there is a little TubeBuddy drop-down menu, and that will show you that you need to link your channel to your TubeBuddy account. It may be slightly different for you if you need to set up your account first, but this is where you're going to go um to get that rolling you'll see that the little actual extension icon is up here so if for some reason you don't see this drop down you can just click on that and that may be where you establish a login but so here we go in and we want to link our channel so we go in and link our channel it brings us to TubeBuddy. we bring our account up we say allow redirecting to TubeBuddy. then it'll show you welcome and thank you for installing TubeBuddy. You'll see here, it gives you a little getting started video and also um, some quick links on the right hand side. But for now, what we're interested in is the um, keyword research. So now that we have it set up, I am going to pop over to my other channel so we can take a look at how keyword research works on an actual video. And we'll click on that and we'll go in and take a look at a video all right so this is the normal screen where you would add keywords to a video if you see in the lower left hand corner um, this is actually the normal place that you would add them but you'll also see depending on the keywords that you've chosen you'll see these little numbers these little numbers represent the place that this particular video ranks for that keyword when performing a YouTube search Okay, so let's take a look at the actual process of performing keyword research. At the bottom of the screen in Tag Tools, you want to click on the Explore button. Now that's going to bring up the TubeBuddy Tag Explorer, and what you can do in this screen is type in a keyword or keyword phrase, and it will give you some very valuable information about that keyword. In this case, we are looking at an air conditioning refill video. Uh, for a Chrysler Town and Country. So I'm going to type in AC Refill uh, Town and Country. And then we click the Explore button. And what it's going to do is it is going to take a look at this keyword phrase, compare it to the activity on YouTube, and then it's going to provide you with a score. Now that score is a combination of the search volume, which is how often some people are actually heading out and searching for the term that you've entered, and then also competition, which gives you an idea of how many other creators are using that particular term in an effort to push traffic to their videos. So in this case, we see the search volume is low, which is not always a bad thing, and the competition is very low. What I typically tend to look for is that the competition falls below search volume. But uh, 
TubeBuddy actually makes it even easier than that because they actually provide you a word and number score. In this case, this particular keyword phrase is 78 out of 100 and it has an overall score of good. What we're trying to do is find as many keyword phrases as possible that have a good or better score. Once we find those in the upper right hand corner, there's a little drop down and there's an option to insert into current video. As we do our search and we find good ones, we click the insert button and that's going to drop it into the keyword section on the video. We continue to go through, we do different variations, AC, town, or AC refill, town and country, AC refrigerant refill, uh, town and country, air conditioning, and you basically try to find as many variations on the theme as you can to try to mimic what somebody is actually going to type in the search bar on YouTube. Once you have filled up your um, keyword search section, you have 500 characters to enter as many keywords as possible. Uh, then what you can do, so in this case, I already have this particular keyword added, so we'll pretend that we added those and we'll go back and look. You, in this case, we've used five, 490 of the 500 available characters. Now, these don't always necessarily show up right away when you add them, so you can actually click save and refresh, and it'll give you an idea if any of your keyword phrases are actually going to rank. If the particular video uh, falls in search beyond the rank of 50, it's not gonna show a number at all. Um, but as you can see, this is a very powerful tool to assist you with identifying keywords that people are actually using in their searches and being able to incorporate them into your video. I actually take the keyword search a step further and I will find the keyword phrase that has the best score while also being higher on the actual activity scale. Uh, you know, so if I have a score of 78 and one's high and one's average in terms of the actual volume people are searching, I'll usually focus in on the high one and I will actually take that keyword phrase and use it as the title of the video. I will then copy the title of the video into the description as the first line and then I will go on to explain in more detail what the actual video is about. I have also had luck with actually incorporating multiple tags in the header, but usually I do that only when I already have a keyword search term that is ranked and if through manipulating those uh, by adding them to the title and the description. I'm able to um, raise those rankings in a lot of cases. So you get a, a ranking that comes in at number 10, for example, in one of your many keywords, and then you take that keyword, you copy it into your title and also the description. You might be able to move that up to like a six or something. It's gonna vary by keyword. So you can actually sit on the screen and kind of play with it and try to get as many of your keywords ranked as possible. So that is actually how I approach every video that I create now, and I've had very good results with it. This particular video turned out um, to be very successful in search. It ended up, and as you can see, I also went in detail and added a description related to this video. Um, so you wanna get as much metadata in there, um, keyword phrases in your title and your description to make it as easy as possible to find the video. But what this one actually did is it went a step further and it not only showed up number one as a YouTube search, but it eventually climbed to number one as a Google search, which is very powerful in terms of uh, pushing traffic to your videos. And this particular video um, took off a couple of weeks ago and it has been outperforming all my other videos. Uh, you know, and then just, just as a, uh, a side note on this, you never know what uh, video people are going to find most helpful or most useful or most entertaining. The idea of driving yourself crazy, trying to um, make every video perfect may be a detriment to you because perfect is subjective. So in a lot of cases, what you may not feel is perfect may end up being your highest ranked and most watched video. You just never know. So you never wanna let perfection get in your way of actually producing content and getting it on your channel. There's a great quote that I heard from a consultant at a company that I used to work for, and that is perfect is the enemy of good, which basically means don't get so bogged down in perfection that you never accomplish anything. It's a great piece of advice and one I certainly uh, suggest you use with your YouTube journey.
So that is how we use keyword research. Like I said, it's very powerful. There are a number of other methods to drive traffic to your channel. There may be ones that are even more powerful than keyword research, depending on the type of channel that you have. Keyword research is very strong for how-to videos and situations where people are searching for your content in a one-off situation. If, for example, like this, they're simply trying to fix a problem. They're going to do a search either on Google or YouTube, find a video, take care of it, uh, the problem that they're facing and move on. Whereas if you're a personality and you have a vlog, um, you know, there may be other opportunities through uh, suggested videos and other methods to drive traffic to your site. So this is just one of the methods that we're going to cover. We're going to continue to look at a bunch of different things that will help you grow your channel. Uh, and uh, I certainly look forward to doing that. All right, I hope this video about keyword research has been helpful to you. If you're not currently engaging in keyword research and trying to maximize the benefit of that with your videos, I highly recommend you do so. I'm going to put a link to TubeBuddy down in the description so you can go there and sign up for a TubeBuddy account for free and then you can follow the instructions in the video to actually download that extension or add-on in the Chrome browser. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it's provided you with some insight on keyword research and given you the necessary information to get started on your own. Remember, there's a link to TubeBuddy in the description below. Go ahead and follow that link, set up your account, and then head into Chrome and follow the directions in the video. If you would like to continue to build a foundation for YouTube success, go ahead and click that subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing. That's all the time we have for now. Until next time, this is Dan Courier, and you're watching Creator Fundamentals. Thank you.